All right, welcome back to Spruce Hill Outdoors. Today we're gonna make a birdhouse, uh, more specifically a spirit birdhouse. Um, I carve faces into the into the birdhouses and uh, sell them to people. And, you know, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. First thing I do, I'll just grab one here. is I marked right here is the center of this piece of wood. The reason I did that is I'm going to cut 45 degree angle on both of those to make the pitch of the roof. All right, you can see the wood here. I got a 45 on both sides. I drew a line across here to make sure that they were down at the same length. That's important to get my roof right. The next thing I'm going to do, I got to decide about my face. I want to have a beard on this, so I'm going to kind of sketch where I want the beard to be. And I think, well, I'll go about here, I guess. about where I want the beard to be. It might be a little bit long, but um, it's going to be a pretty big birdhouse, but um, you can make them smaller, and this if you have a smaller piece of wood, this is just what I'm working with, a piece of scrap wood I have laying around. So I've got to cut this beard out so I can move on to the next step. Um, can't cut the wood and hold the camera at the same time, so I'm going to cut it and then I'll be back. All right. Here you can see the beard. This is going to be the beard here. This is where I'm going to carve the face, and this will be the roof. So, now i got to decide what face I'm going to put on here, where I'm putting the eyes and nose and all that, and where I'm going to put the mouth. And I also got to make a back that matches this. So I'm going to lay this on top of this. So uh, make sure it matches identical. I'm gonna copy these angles. I'm gonna cut the angles out of this piece. That'll be the back part of the birdhouse. So I'm gonna do that so it matches. I'll do that next. And then I'll think about this face and we'll do that. All right, there's two, uh, two parts of the birdhouse. This is gonna be the back, the actual size of the house. This will fit on top of this, like that. I'll put two sides on it. This is all going to hang down below the birdhouse, this beard. So now I got to decide what face I'm going to do. Um, it's going to have a beard, a mustache. I think next thing I got to do, I got to drill the hole where I want the hole for the birds to go in. And then after that, I'll draw the face. So I'm going to get out my hole saw, mark where I want the hole, and drill that. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not. I drew a face on here. You can see the mustache here, nose, two eyes, two eyebrows. These are like the cheeks. So that's the basic face I want to get. Now I'm going to try to um, carve out the face. Probably start. You know, I might start with the eyes first, then I'll work on the nose and work my way down. Then we'll see how this goes.
And hopefully you can start to see the face here. What I did is I carved this part down. It's kind of called relief carving. The parts you want to stick out, you got to carve the material away. You want the mustache to stick up further, the cheeks, the eyes, the eyebrows, and the nose. But you only have <laughs> that thickness of wood to work with, so you have to watch. You can't carve too much. You see, I put the eye holes, nose holes. Um, <clears throat> I haven't started on the mustache or beard yet. What I got to do next is I got to take below the mustache here, I got to take all this material off so that the beard is below the mustache, so the mustache is sticking out a little further. Um, and that takes a lot of a lot of grinding, but when you're running that uh, the Dremel tool, the vibration puts your hand to sleep after a while, so you got to take a break. So um, That's how far I got so far. And you can see the basic shape of the face. Uh, once I get uh, the rest of this, I'll carve hairlines in the eyebrows. I'll carve hairlines here for where the beard comes up to the cheeks. This will be hairlines for the beard, and this will be hairlines for the mustache. So... What I'm going to do next, um, I'm going to try carving that part next so you can see uh, what that looks like. What I'll do is I'll take this part off because there's really, all I'm going to do is grind this off. You don't need to watch that on camera. I'll grind this off, try to round the mustache and stuff off, and then we'll put some whiskers on there and see how it looks. All right, you see I carved all this material away. Now you see how the mustache sticks up a little further than the beard and the cheeks. You can see how they come out. And the nose sticks out a little bit and the eyes <coughs> and the eyebrows. Now I gotta go over all these, bring them out a little bit more, highlight them a little more, probably deepen this mustache. Go around the nose some more, around the eyes some more, around the eyebrows. I'll keep digging down a little bit so that they stick out more. But you can see the basic what it's going to look like. So I gotta, I gotta go over all this stuff that's carved out, try to bring it out a little further before I do the whiskers. I'll do that and I'll show you what that looks like. Yeah, you can see I brought the eyes out more, got the eyebrows sticking up a little higher, carved the nose out a little bit more, <coughs> you can see the mustache, so you can see the face, so they call them wood spirits, next I gotta try to do the hairs, <coughs> breathing this sawdust is hard in the lungs, so I gotta Cut the hairs next.
All right. Now you can see the whiskers. My uh, the basic idea. That's how I do the whiskers. I just gotta put the birdhouse together. Now I'll show you how that looks. All right. Here's basic construction of the birdhouse. See, I made the box. Put the roof on. Cut angles on the edge of the roof. Now this face just slides right up in here. Just like that. And that's how you... Now, for the face, what I do is I put a wood screw on each side. The reason for that, if you ever wanted to clean the nest out, you have to be able to get into it. The only way you get into it is to have screws you can take out and this whole face will slide off. You clean it out and you put it back. That's basically the way that you uh, make these. Now, you don't have to make it this big. You can make it with whatever size of wood you have. If you only have a four inch wide board, you can do it on a four inch wide board. This is just a scrap lumber I had laying around, so I thought I'd make one. That's the way it turned out. Anything I gotta do yet, I'm gonna sand over some of this, make it a little smoother. And then I'll connect this, and then I'll put some linseed oil on the whole thing. So, uh, let me do that sanding and then I'll get back to you. Alright, you can see I kind of smoothed this top part a little bit. Where the, and there's no hair. The hair I kind of left rough because you want it to look like whiskers. But I smoothed this out. And see I drilled a little hole right here. And I drilled a hole right here. The reason I drilled that, I don't want to crack it when I put the wood screw in. After carving all of this, if you crack it, the whole piece is ruined. So I pre-drilled it so it won't crack. I'm going to put two wood screws in here to fasten the face down. And then uh, see what we do after that. All right. Now I put linseed oil on the whole thing. It'll help keep it uh, from rotting or anything. Coat the whole thing in linseed oil. Maybe you can see how it looks. I left the roof overhang on the edge and on the top there a little bit. And the other thing I was thinking about was making a pipe sticking out of his mouth so the birds can land on it, but I think it'll be okay like that. So I'll call that done. Um, hopefully that helped you if you guys want to try to make your own spirit birdhouse. That's what I do. I just use a Dremel tool. I draw, drew, drew the face and then started doing some relief carving and yeah, you know, turned out all right. Hope you liked the video and if you try it, hope it works out for you. Thanks for watching.